this is a protest against the American Legislative Exchange Council, also known as ALEC, which is basically an association of corporations and politicians that draft model cookie cutter legislation in the interest of the profits of these corporations, and then try to get legislators around the country to implement it into law at a, at a state level. So we didn't know a ton about how this organization worked until recently when about, I think it was six, 700 or 800 documents were leaked by a disgruntled former ALEC member. Um, but we have since found out through these documents that they have been involved in things like the anti-immigration bill in Arizona, the anti-union -un busting efforts in Wisconsin, and Governor Scott Walker was part of ALEC before he became governor, and a lot of the sort of new laws that allow for private prisons. So ALEC is sort of like this big shadowy force financed by the biggest corporations in the country that are essentially writing our laws. The result! The, the result! result is legislation! Is legislation! Written by corporations! Written by corporations! To benefit their bottom line! To benefit their bottom line! Not the public interest! Not the public interest! Is written for corporations! Is written for corporations! Not the people! Not the people! We are the people! We are the people! Fuck them! Fuck them! What we're trying to emphasize is the fact that behind the scenes, the rationale for a lot of these laws come from corporations who want to profit on them. So, Coke Industries is one of the most prominent members. Uh, you know, the SB 1070 law was in part drafted by um, companies that run private prisons. And, oh, yeah. uh, you know, so that connection has to be made obvious. And, and people vote on their politicians, but don't realize that so much of what they do is not something that they just sort of dreamed up in their office by themselves, but are based on their connection to these corporations. Yeah. And so we're here today to say, listen, we don't think that that's right. We don't think that there should be so much corporate influence in our political process. Um, and we're also here to sort of draw attention to the fact that Bank of America received unprecedented amounts of government backing and government support and loans from the Fed at almost a 0% interest rate, and then went right back to paying themselves big fat bonuses. Hey, hey, ho, ho, corporate greed has got to go, hey, hey. Company. Pfizer is a pharmaceutical company that makes life-saving pills. That makes life-saving pills for about five cents. For about five cents. And then they resell those pills. And then they resell those pills for about fifty fucking dollars. For about fifty fucking dollars. Fuck Pfizer. We're protesting specifically the uh, Bank of America and Pfizer, who are members of Alec, um, for their involvement, you know, in the Wall Street collapse. Agreed, and what we hope to do is we hope to uh, shut down 34 Bank of Americas. My check! My check! check. I'd just like to point out that we have successfully shut down this Bank of America! Nobody's allowed in! Nobody's allowed in! And they're not doing any business! And they're not doing any business! Sucks for them! Gonna be talking today about Bank of America. All right, so basically what this scam is about, I've been covering this for years, I've been trying to explain this to audiences, and the easiest way I can explain this is that it was banks selling oregano as weed. <laughs> <laughs> if this was any other, co any other kind of industry, if this was a car company, if this were a health insurance company, all these guys would be in jail. They would be doing time for this kind of fraud. If you went out and you sold a bunch of defective cars that caused people to have accidents, People would go to jail for that, but nobody is going to jail on companies like Bank of America, and they should. Mm -hmm. uh, so Bank of America is a totally appropriate target for Occupy Wall Street. It's a company that's barely hanging on. The only reason it's staying in business is because the market thinks that the government is going to rescue it if it goes under. 
we have to make sure that the, enough pressure is put in the government so that nobody ever rescues companies like this again, that they can't engage in this kind of fraud and get away with it. <laughs> How much is it going to cost? How much is it going to cost? Can we buy our way past here? Come on, come on, we got money. We got money. We got money.